Hi everyone and welcome to the Well Educated Artist. I'm so glad you're joining me today. I am actually trying to recreate this today. This is actually a skin that I was working on because I sometimes work on skins rather than on a canvas to work out what I'm going to do. And then I use the skins for projects if you've seen my videos. And this is one that I created that I really liked. So my question today is, can I recreate this on a larger canvas? I want to see if it can be done because I really like the way it turned out. So today I'm working on a 14 by 14 inch canvas. As we know that when you're working on a larger canvas, uh, sometimes the work doesn't quite translate as well. Now today I'm going to be using three metallic paints and the first one is Anita Sapphire and then I have Aqua Flash which is a folk art color I use quite a lot and then I have a custom yellow color which is Liquid Texas Primary Yellow Color Arts Sunflower and PBO's Rich Iridescent Gold. So this one is just a mix of everything. I just couldn't find a yellow that I liked. While my yellow is a little bit of a hodgepodge, you might say, I'm also going to add a couple of more colors that are not metallics. I'm going to move these out of the way. The first color is Viridian, which is sort of a blue-green color, and it is from Master's Touch. And the other one is Lime Green from Liquitex. So those are just going to have a little more staying power than my metallics. Now all of my paints are mixed 3 to 1 with Floetrol to paint. So. As you can see here, I have gone ahead and painted the edges of my canvas black. This is just permanent black. I don't want any, uh, any canvas showing. I'm also going to be putting down a layer of black paint. So this is permanent black and it is mixed with a little bit of GAC 800 Floetrol and water. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down right now, very quickly. Okay, now I'm just going to give this a really good torch and pop any bubbles that I might have. Okay, I am going to want to put a cup down now. It's going to keep the center of my design or starburst or explosion, whatever this happens to be, a dark black hole. It's going to keep that clear. I'm just going to push in my cup and that's going to keep the paint out of my center. Now I'm going to put a ring around the cup of color and then I'm going to make an even larger ring around that ring so that I have a little bit of highlight or hopefully light coming through because I'm going to make that yellow. At least that's what my plan is. To put my paint down, I am going to be using a syringe. It's going to allow me to take the paint and put it around my cup in a circle. Now, I don't have any large bottles of paint because these are my little cups left over. This just allows me to make my circles and get them a little more precise but also they're very easy to clean. So I'm just going to fill my syringes with paint, starting with yellow, and just fill each one up. Now that I have my syringes full, I'm just going to go right around in a circle. Now the funny thing is, sometimes this paint gets attracted to the plastic and will just pull it right up against the plastic due to the negative charge. That is unfortunate. It'd be easier to be using an open circle for this, but this is the cup. This is what I have that's the right size. So now that I've got my sapphire blue down, now I can just switch out to another syringe and lay down my aqua color here. And you can see where the aqua paint is actually attracted to the cup. So sometimes plastic can give you trouble with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch to my yellow and go around the cup with the yellow. And it looks sort of messy, but it's not going to matter at all. And I'm going to go around twice because I have missed some as I'm trying to get around the back edge of that cup and trying to not have to walk around the table to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to add a circle, my larger circle, on the outside. And it is just going to be yellow, and we'll see if this works or not. But I'm just going to be doing yellow, and unfortunately because this is metallic, the paint sometimes will go right on into the black. 
Now an embroidery hoop would work really well here to get a very straight circle. I don't have one this size, so it's not gonna work for me. Now I did forget to put my lime green down. I'm gonna go back and add my lime green down in some strategic areas around my cup. And that's just a lot of brightness. It'll almost read as yellow because of all of the yellow in it. And because it is a regular paint and not a metallic, it doesn't tend to disappear. So I'm just going to keep on layering my colors and I will also add paint in as I need it when I begin my swipe. Okay. Now I'm going to grab some of these little pieces I've cut. These are just paper towel, but you can use plastic or playing cards. Playing cards might be a little large for this application unless you're willing to cut them up. Um, you can use napkin, toilet paper, kind of whatever floats your boat. Now I'm just going to be working from the corners. I'm going to do my four corners first. And I'm seeing already some lacing going on. That's the metallics at work here. And then let me do this corner. Okay. And I need one more. And I try to use these little pieces of paper towel more than once kind of flip it over and use it again whenever I can now these are not wet these are dry so they are pulling off quite a bit of paint but that is okay not a problem here okay so here is what I'm seeing you can really see the cells this is kind of neat and electric in and of itself but we are going to be doing a lot more swiping and you can see how the gold is kind of disappeared around the center so let me start swiping in between after i add some gold i'm going to add more gold yellow it's really a yellow but there's gold in it so i am just going to put it in between because it is really disappearing on me seeping underneath that black it's still there but we need to make sure it stays. Okay, so let me grab my pieces of paper and start swiping in between my little spokes. Now I'm gonna be doing a lot of swiping, so I am speeding it up here. Okay, I'm going to be doing a few more swipes, but just take a second and look at the paint around the middle. I've pulled some away that I probably shouldn't, so I'm going to be adding a little bit more paint back in there. But it's also moving away from the cup here as I've pulled it away and just adding a little bit more paint back in there. So if you pull away too much paint, then put some more paint back in there. It's your painting, you can do what you want with it. And now I'm going to be doing a lot more swiping. Okay, let me show you what I am seeing and you can see all of that beautiful lacing and what I'm going to do is kind of give my cup a little bit of a turn in the middle and join these together and give just a little bit of a swirl effect there just to swirl it around okay now I'm going to remove my cup from the middle and let's see what we have here okay got a little bit of the yellow paint I need to get rid of but that is what your fingers are for so we'll just clean that up 
and that looks pretty cool actually. Now you may have remembered that my other picture, which was a skin, had something in the middle. Now here you see I attempted a couple of times to do what I did in the last one. I just couldn't recreate it. And when I finally did recreate it, I could only do it with the yellow and it was small and awkward and I didn't like it. So I just decided to get rid of it and just leave it blank. I just decided the graphic nature was better than some little dot that didn't look very good. So I am just going to leave it as is. But I'll show you what the final product looks like and I'll also show you the dry result. Okay, so here is the wet result and it almost looks like water that is going down a hole. That was not what I was thinking it was going to look like, but I like it. I was thinking more of an explosion or starburst, but it almost looks like water draining. Uh, it's really interesting. I actually really like this. It's not exactly like my original, but I really like the idea of this and maybe I'll try some more of these. So what do you think?